What up, doll homies and homies? It's your homeboy, Grand Tizzle, and welcome to the first episode of Photoshop in Session. Now, we're going to be working on this today. All right, let's begin the tutorial. And the first thing we're going to do is pull up a standard size for Photoshop flyers. And that's going to be a 4 by sales nevin. What's a 4 by sales nevin? I mean, 4 by sales nix. What's a 4 by sales nix? It's a 4 by sales nix. All right, um, and now what we're going to do here is... Um, that don't look right. Oh, I know why that don't look right, idiot. Because it's not resolution 72, it's resolution 300, boy. We're going to put the bit rate at 16-bit, uh, boom. Okay, so now the first thing we're going to do here is... Um, uh, the reason why I did it this way is because I, I kind of want to walk through step by literal step. Um... Uh, you know, no surprises, no pop-ups, you know, uh, th this kind of, it kind of gives you an idea of the mindset that goes behind when you are producing these, you know, particular type of flyers. Now, this uh, one, what I want to do is I want to utilize um, one of my friends, real close friends' daughters, and you may have seen a music video that I shot on her, and her name is Taj. And um, I would like to go in and use her for the session. The tutorials here, video mix of models, and here she is. Boom. Okay, so we're going to find an image, and what I want to do is have something kind of classy, city ish, you know, um, uh, you know, with like emerald colors and, you know, kind of, kind of preppy and clean and crispy, not nothing real spicy and, you know, real super duper busy. And uh, I'm going to pick out one of these and I'm thinking about using maybe one of the bikini shots, if not one of these. I'm just going to look, let's see here. I kind of like this one, but I don't like that her head is chopped off here. But maybe we can utilize that. I kind of like this one here. Let's see. Let me try this one. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I think this one actually might work for what I'm trying to do. So, uh, all right. So let's um, let's do what's typical here. Now, a lot of people when you when you carving her out. A lot of people like to use uh, this tool. You know, they go in there, they try to carve around, boom, boom, boom. I don't really like this tool because it's 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 kind of you know it's it's sticky. You know what I mean? It it's too stiff. I like to use this pen tool here, and I'll I'll show you that in a few seconds. But it's something that I need to do with my mouse. I want to be able to zoom in with my mouse. Sometimes. Um, uh, sometime it goes off. Let me see. Zoom with scroll wheel. Yeah, I think that's it. Let me see if that's working here. Yeah, that's working. Okay. So uh, we're going to pan over here. And I like to use this because it's just much quicker. I'm going to zoom in and then just start selecting her. And I'm pretty familiar with the curves. So I kind of just go in there and pick a spot. Um, you can hold your space key and move your uh your page around as you do this and it's just faster it's just much faster and then if you need to uh, do some smooth little curves see, I like doing the smooth little curves and sometimes if you see that you're missing out too much flesh or something like that you can hold you can hold control and then move that um, move that that point all right so we hold the space move it down and you see how much we got done already and see, that's the reason why I like to use that too. And it don't have to be 100% flawless, but the way this tool works, and um, you know, when we're done, we start adding all the other elements, you're not going to pay too much attention to um, how perfect it is. But compared to the other um, tool, the other masking tool, you can see right now how, how fast this is, you know. 
Now we could change the color of that um, that uh, cursor, but you know, I'm kind of used to it, so I'm gonna stick to that. In a later tutorial, I can show you how we can change that color. But this is going to come out really nice. I'm gonna do some adjustments. Um, like for example, she might not want that on her arm, so I would shave that off a little. Maybe some minor, very, very minor adjustments. Now there's a way that I can get in here and tweak the hair and, you know, like really get into the detail of, you know, cutting the hair out, but I'm not going to do that on this tutorial. Then there's also some other tools I like to use to like, uh, for example, so that the uh, hair won't be like perfectly round and as you see when, when we cut it out. Um, there's a tool I like to use to kind of add strands of hair in it. And you don't need a plug-in or anything like that. You can just um, you can just do it um, by your keyboard. I mean, I'm sorry, not the keyboard, but by your mouse or your pen. I have a pen too. I have a Wacom um, graphic Photoshop graphic pad that I do some painting and drawing and, th and stuff like that. All right, and right here, and that wraps that up. So as you see, we got it, uh, we filled it, and that only took us a couple of minutes, five minutes. But I'm gonna right click on that, and I'm going to make a selection path. And I'm gonna hit okay, and now that's gonna create a selection. So now with that, I'm gonna, I can either cut that, paste, or I could have copied it and paste, and now I can remove the background. Now, we're on to something, man. So now let's take this, let's take her, and we're going to drag her over here. Okay. Now the size of it, actually, you know, that size is kind of small. I see I missed something. Um, and I didn't know, I got to get the original photo from the, from the photographer. I guess, uh, I guess when she sent me these images, she didn't realize that, uh, she shrunk them or they had to get shrunk in order to get sent over because uh, she shared these photos on a uh, Google Drive now I'm not gonna you know get real tedious and funky with it you know what I mean like like I get funky with it when I make my beats when I'm training people how to do beats I get funky with it but I ain't gonna get funky with this we're going to keep this nice and smooth and calm and rich and emeraldy and classy. That's what we're going to do here. So we make a selection, hit OK, and simply delete that section. All right, so sorry we missed out on that. Now, there's a few things that I can do. There's a few things that I can do to enhance the image. But um, we're going to stick to the basics right now. We'll come back and do some other, some other things here. Now this is a really good uh, image. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to run this through a filter and we're going to go to liquify. And again, I told you that, that I would enhance her a little bit. So we're going to use the the bracket tool to expand this, this, this tool here. And we're going to kind of just push her arm in a little bit, you know, ain't no big deal. That's good. And we push that in a little bit. Okay, now we want to make sure we don't, you know, make no distortion or no obvious, you know, distortions. I'm going to take this and pull that in a little. And we're going to pull that arm back a little. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And with that, I guess we can pull that in a little and we can maybe shape that up a little the waist in a little more now if I wanted to I could really really get uh, crazy with it but I'm not gonna do that all right and 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 you want to make sure that you don't do too much because when you start doing too much it's kind of equivalent to um, uh, having a facelift like when you move one proportion now you have to alter another proportion. A lot of people be like, I wonder why they get addicted to, um, you know, once people start 
uh, altering their face and things like that, you'd be like, why they didn't stop with the nose? Why did they suck in the cheek? And why did they get the neck done? And why did they get the lips swollen? Why did they get the... Well, what happens is once you start adjusting one proportion and you do a little too much, now you got you to gotta kind of start adding other things to it. You got to start correcting the proportions by now adjusting the cheekbone. And now, you, now that you adjusted the cheekbone, now you got to do some other things and, and adjust something else. So that's why you, we just do just some subtle moves there. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make another comp because we're going to do a little bit of enhancing this image here. And what, what we're going to do is first I'm going to pull out the levels and uh, see what we can get going. I'll re brighten her up a little, but we want to darken some shadows here. Right there. And um, that's it right now. Now, this is my save. I'm going to save this. And... This is going to be the destructive. So this is a backup. I always like to make a backup just in case something go crazy and wrong. All right. So um, what's the other thing that I like to do? Well, let's go ahead and start looking for some other elements. Now, what I want to do right now is I want to um, look for a cityscape. We want to put her above the city. So we're going to Google that. And um, yeah, this is a cheat. I think this one might be cool. Um, I want an image of the city, but she's above the city, right? Like maybe standing on the balcony or something. I think this one might be actually cool. So I'm going to take this here. And just for the record, fam, um, it's always cool to use, like, the larger the image, the better. So I look at the, the, the size here, and it says 5,000 something. That's really large. That's really large. Very high resolution. Um, so let me see if I can drag it. Nope, I can't drag it. Can I copy it and paste? Uh, let's see. Yeah, good. All right, so I was able to copy and paste, and um, we're going to pull this behind her, and we're going to shrink this down here. Maybe like so here. And we'll pull it back. We'll put the Empire State Builder behind her. Something like that-ish. That's good. All right. And uh, now let's kind of punch this city up a little bit. We're going to go to the adjustments, and we're going to use our levels. And I'm going to darken it. Really bring in some shadows. And punch it just a little bit. We're going to brighten this up here. But now we need to saturate it with some color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another copy just in case I, I screw something up. It's, it's another reason why I like to use another copy. And I'm going to show that to you in a second. But I want to bring some saturation in here. So we're going to bring some saturation. Okay, that's too much. So just bring it up a little bit. Now when I brought up the saturation, now we're able to see the blue skies. And that's going to contrast with some other colors that I'm going to put into it. But now this down here is a little too much. That's where this backup come in at. You see, so when I when I remove the mute on that, you see the, the, the bottom part that I saved. But what I'm going to do is, and this is kind of like how you do high dy dynamic range type um, images in Photoshop. So what I'm going to do is take the eraser and erase the bottom of this to reveal the, reveal the lower label, uh, uh, you know, the lower, uh, you know, image. You know what I'm saying? Dang, why y'all making me work so hard? All right, now let's change this background to block. All right, and we're going to do that black, bam. And now we're going to merge these two, block. And now since we merged these two here, we got the city, we got the... High dynamic range up there. Got the low dynamic range. Down there. And now what we're going to do is let's fade this here. So we're going to get our eraser brush. And let's, we're just going to fade the bottom. Boom. 
go cool now that blends in all right uh now we uh now what we have to do is we have to adjust her see she's not matching the level and luminous of the background so there's this is where some adjustments come in at now don't forget i i got the the um the original saved but i want to tweak this a little bit more and i want more dynamic range coming from her so what i'm gonna need to do or what i like to do is select another uh, layer and put one on hold and then i work with this one to bring out uh, specific looks. So what I think I want to do, I want to use Dodge and Burn. And um, the Dodge and Burn tool, the Burn is going to darken up shadows. You see what happened right there? And what that does and what I like about it is that, I'm going to put it on light, light exposure. But it puts some definition, you know what I mean? And I wish I can actually, uh, let's see here. We got range is what we can work on. Let's say mid tone. Let me try to work on shadow here, cause I just wanna darken the shadow. And I'm using shadow because if I use mid tone, it gives it a black hue. But if I use shadow, then it's going to keep that kind of like that orange, you know, the skin color hue. And we're going to put a little bit of definition. Um, cause right now she kind of washed out completely. So we're going to kind of put some definition on her by darkening the shadows. We'll bring, bring this down a little bit more, bring the exposure down. And, um, that way I can kind of lightly and politely brush it in. And what that does is it, it can, it accentuates her skin color. Now we're going to do something else. We're going to, um, right now we're dodging. I mean, right now we're burning. But then we're going to dodge in a minute. So this, so I'm going to give her a little six-pack definition here. Put a little bit more emphasis on that. And uh, darken this up right here. Now, there's other tools we can use. Actually, I really like to use Topaz to do this type of stuff. But I don't have Topaz installed, I don't think. No, I don't. So the next tutorial, I will have Topaz installed. But I'm going to give her like a little six pack. You see how we able to pull that off there? You know, just a little. Okay. And uh, I'm going to come back in there with the burn tool. I mean, the dodge tool. And lighten that up. And it just make her skin kind of shine and glow. And we're going to put a shadow there. Now we're going to come back to this because I'm going to light this up more. I'm gonna add more brilliance and more light to it, but then we're gonna have to shine this side of her body. And I'm gonna show you a little secret I like to use. Now we're not gonna do anything up there. Um, maybe we'll put a little shadow uh, in her cheeks, cause she got like an Indian. Her dad is, I think her dad is a, almost a full blown Indian. A blending, cause he's black and Indian. And uh, that's okay. Now, in this particular, now I do a lot of um, I do a lot of uh, Photoshop mixtape covers, but that's a totally different technique. Cause we, we what we like to do is try to car cartoonize it, I, but I don't want to cartoonize her. Now we are going to enhance this, but I'm going to add some deeper shadow here. So that's with the, the burn tool. You see the shadow coming in now. And it's almost kind of adding a little bit of color. Making her lips a little redder. But it's kind of it's kind of being more natural. And we're going to put a little definition up here, here. Just enhancing it a little. That's good. Just adding some little shadows for definition. All right. You got it? You got him? And uh, also, what I can do, what I like to do here, and I, I wish the resolution was a little better, uh, but I, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that later. But I'm going to bring up the exposure a little because I want to darken her eyebrows a little, but I want it to look natural. Right, 
and now I can bring it back down so now that just darkens that but now let me, let me make sure I don't want to focus on the other thing yeah, let's see here boom all right so we zoom out here and I think that's okay right maybe we can enhance this a little bit add some curvature, curvature to that not too much okay and I think I think that's it now I'm gonna put a little bit of shadow inside of the uh, jeans okay good good all right now um now let's get to the dodge now the dodge to what we're gonna do is go in the middle so let me hit the first stroke okay so you see what it's doing See, it's, it's kind of like almost kind of making her skin shine a little but it just it gives it definition okay I think that might have been too much let me back up off that I want it to look natural I had a little shine right there so it kind of almost give it a high dynamic type of you know so so now you see now we can go in our stomach here and you see it's it's, it's kind of subtle right it's a little subtle and it's almost kind of like giving the, 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 the belly definition now that's before let me show you something before and after you see that see so we enhance it a little bit or a lot of bit or whatever you want to call it and um, I think we're good right there we're gonna add a little shine right there like like that and um, this up here oh, this is kind of okay I don't want to overdo that plus I'm not working with a really high resolution so a lot of a lot of a lot of mistakes can kind of happen if I if I do too much there. Now now I think that she's popping a little more and um let me see if we can adjust some um let me see if we I don't think curves need to be adjusted. Let me look at levels again. I think that might be okay. I don't know if you can see it. I'm making very, very subtle adjustments here. Now, I don't want to darken it so much where you see how we're removing those highlights. But I do want her to blend better with that background. So now with that, it looked like to me. All right, I think that might be kind of cool. Now, let me show you a magic trick here. All right. The magic trick is to make another copy. Because now what I want to do is I want this light back here to glow. And I actually want it to affect her. So what we're going to do is, and there's a number of ways to do it. But I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to put a rim light on this side of her. Because obviously, if the sun is over here, she should have some, some type of light rimming her from behind and that would make that didn't sound right rimming her from behind <laughs> um but that what that would do is uh really add really put her into the picture so let's do that and um we're going to use the bevel and boss uh attempt now right now we got the light hitting on that side and all we got to do is uh swap it so let's put the light right now the light source is here so we'll take the light here and move it there where it's at now the other thing we like I like to do um, it's kind of heavy so I'll make a decision if I'm a chisel hard chisel soft or smooth uh, we're going to change the bit first I don't think smooth is going to actually work now let's see inner bevel outer bevel no, no inner emboss Pillow and boss, stroke and boss. Let 
All right, we're going to use inner and boss and uh, size. We're going to adjust the size. Now, she don't need a whole lot, right? So now this is where it gets a little tricky because we do want a hard light, but it also has to look realistic. So it can't look like, you know, so, so we got to tweak with it a little. So we're going to bring it to the edge a little, and then we're going to soften it. Now, the other thing to do right now, let's see, let's, let's on and off that real quick. Okay. Now, I, I'm going to fix this over here, so we ain't going to worry about that. But the other thing to do is now you want to blend the mold correctly. So, um... So we play around with different modes. So we use lighting, and we're going to use the actual color of the sun. So we're going to use the actual yellow there. Okay. So so now she got a yellow little hue there. Uh, turn up the opacity, and um, this here that don't that don't need to be there. Well, actually, I could put a little there, just a little. And it actually could have been a little bigger, but that's cool. We can work with that. All right. Um, now, uh, let's see here. Let's see what's happening with the size now again. And we can get the size a little, but now we have to blend it more. Okay. It look a little fake. That's cool. We'll fix it. We'll fix it. Don't trip. Don't trip. Um, what what we need here is saturation. So we're going to try to find some other modes here. Uh, and so let's see. Overlay is doing that. Now I kind of like what overlay is doing here a little and some other modes we're going to kind of keep scrolling through them till we find the right one and soft this is hard light and and primarily what I'm looking for right now is um, how the light is going to also interact with her skin we want the light to interact correctly with her skin so let's try vivid vivid might be the one uh, let's see here yeah and i'm gonna tell you why i'm liking vivid i'm liking vivid and and the reason why is because let me show you something i'm really gonna blow this up a little what vivid is doing here is Normally, you're not really going to see you no know, real highlights in the hair. You is going to see it in the skin, though, because of the way the skin works. Now, uh, let me see. I'm going to cut off this light. I want you to pay attention to something here. You see how it's lighting up her shoulder? But also, it gives this dark effect before it gradiates to her skin. Now, that's typically how light really really truly work when you um when light is shining you know shining from behind you so and so that's the reason why i like that now there's something we're going to do something real quick um i would also like for this light to kind of like fall on her cheek but there's something that i have to do see we have to utilize uh all of these images to accomplish that um, so what I'm gonna do I'm going to attempt to put this effect on her cheek so what I'm gonna do is copy that copy that and I'm gonna mute the other one and what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to get to erasing I'm gonna erase I'm going to erase keep the effect there And we're going to attempt to, matter of fact, here, we're going to use this tool. And all this does 
is it really just add um, some realism or some if you was trying to light it a certain way or for example maybe you didn't have the opportunity to light it on the shoot then these are little like uh, cheats or hacks to be able to pull that off okay so as you see when I move the hair let me deselect that when I move the hair you see that that lit up you see that and um, I wish that this wasn't global because if this wasn't global if the sun if the light wasn't global I would be able to move this light separate from the other light see so I will move that light down so I can get more of that right and slide it down now we're gonna blend it we're gonna move it like that a little bit and what 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 was happening is what I like is the it's treating the face the way like the way the Sun would hit it maybe we can lighten that up a little bit more let's see yeah and so now if we put that in there as you see we have that part of the face lit and then what I would do is I don't want it all the way up there and I don't want that to look distorted or saturated or cartoonish so then we're going here and we'll use this brush oops sorry about that and then we'll erase so let me see now I want to be careful let me see here now I have to be careful because whatever I decide to erase it got to be all gone right so let's blow it all up here boom 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 so we don't too much have to worry about this side at all well actually I shouldn't have did that let me let me back this up yeah, this is where it gets a little tricky I keep that because again we're going to blend this back in there all right but you see that see so let, I got to back this up sorry about that it's just the way the plug-in is working but it's a hack though it's a hack so this helps you to maybe we can keep it like that no no let's see yeah I think I think that's okay what y'all think I think it's okay um I don't like that there I like that though I do like that I think that's working here All right, fam. Okay, so that's working. Now, right now, it's not still not making any sense yet because I haven't added the other elements that I want to add to it. But uh, going from this, I'm sorry, going from that, that's our save. Going from that to that, very, very, very big difference. Very big difference. And now she's blended in there perfectly. All right, so let's put her back down there and save her. Now let's light up our life here. Um, what I like to do is I like to go to Google and look for lens flares. So first we're going to look for sun, let's say sun flares. Um, I'll say sun lens flares. How about that? All right, so let's work with something like this. Now we want to pick pick a really big image, um, and let's see. Let's let's see what this does here. This might not be it, but we'll see. So we'll take that and copy and paste, and we'll put that atop. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink it a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I've got to mess with the adjustments, the levels here. So let's make the blacks black. Get the blacks black. And let's brighten that up a little. 
And let me see if we can add. Okay, that might be okay. And now let's make that either screen, lighten, or dodge. We'll pick it. We'll see which one works the best. Okay. Let's see, lighten. Lighten might be the better one. Uh, let's see, screen. Hmm, screen look actually look more pleasant here. Think we're gonna work with that. Now let's take our brush and let's smooth a few things out here. All right, just take off the hard edge. And what I would like to do is, if possible, see if I can add some saturation, some color to that. Not by that being like that, we might have some issues with that. Let me see if what happens if I double that up. Okay, I think I can double it up. And um, we're going to take a little, we're going to remove a little bit of that hue from her face. But we're going to keep a little bit on her body, right? And um, actually, we're going to take some brown. Put some brown here. And we're going to make a layer. And then we're going to make a screen or dodge layer. I think screen right now. Oh, sorry. I got the brush. I mean the eraser. I meant to use the brush. And let's see. Okay, yeah. So that's doing it. Now, the reason why uh, we use screen and we use this brownish color is because what what the screen is doing is it's, a, it's taking away all the black, but it's allowing me to uh, get the red or the oranges, orange tint out of that particular black you would actually think you would think that if you did it lighter that it would work better but it's 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 doing too much right and we do want the hue but that's too much so we're gonna back it off and what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of darken it because it's not gonna it's not gonna use none of the black because the screen is going to remove the black so it's going to give us a you know a more more of a realistic tint there and that's one of the little secrets. Like we can use that right there. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. So sometimes you can you can pull it down a little bit more. Bam. And right there. Yeah. And maybe we want some glow spurts in her skin. Uh, that's kind of pretty much it there. It's not too much more we can do with that. All right. So now we got a nice little image going on there, right? It's looking pretty good. So now it's time to add some um, some elements here. Uh, what we're going to do? Let's see. I want to add like some rectangles and some some different things like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is look at my brushes here, see what I have available. This is a new computer, so I probably I don't yeah I don't have all my my brush is loaded up on here. All right, so I'm gonna have to get my my brushes from the other computer. So let's see what we can use. Um, maybe we can download. Let me download a few brushes. I usually go to. Let me show you the website that I go to to get my brushes here. And this is where you will want to go. right here you want to go to brusheasy.com and they got everything you need everything and they also got shapes and you know they got all kind of things so it's going to take me a, a a small second to download these things so just give me a second i'm gonna put this on pause and we get, come back in one second okay so i decided not to download brushes um what i decided to do here was this i want some rectangles and actually this may be a better approach here so what I'm going to do here is make a square and 
create a box. And these are hacks, fam. This is these are these are ways that uh, advanced techniques, like um, you know, techniques that experts would use. I mean, of course, we could easily, you know, use brushes, and there's a lot of different ways that that we can do it. I'm gonna size that to that, and I want it to be a specific size, so I'll bring it there, and um, I'll squeeze it in a little, and I'm going to use this. This is going to be my tool that I use. So I'm going to create a few multiple ones. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with them in one second. I'm going to make that one. I'm going to make this one here. And um, maybe we'll make another one. Flip that upside down. Make that larger. And we'll put her we'll put her there somewhere, I don't know. All right. Bunch of Illuminati squares. Okay. All right. So um now what we're gonna do here is watch this. We're going to I'm gonna select that, hold control, click, and then I'm going to create a layer. And I'm going to remove that. And now I'm going to brush inside. I'm going to brush inside. So I'll pick, uh, let's say, uh, let's say we pick an orange color. And um, let's blow our brush up and kind of just hit the edges a little. Something like that. Something like that. And then maybe we go a little lighter and hit it at a different angle. Maybe there. And that's going to fall behind her. And um, maybe we can add, let's see, something else here. We'll do something like that. Create another layer and paint the middle of that. So I can have a few sticks. And to make it even more funner, uh, let's have a add a little variety of something in there so we hit the middle like like that and uh, let's deselect that now we got sticks we're going to use that as, as sticks just some abstract looks I'll take this and we'll move it behind her and we'll um, let's see Oops, sorry about that so now that we move the pyramid behind her, let, let's track it. So that's going to be pyramid one. Okay, so we got pyramid one. Uh, let's move that down. And we're going to copy that. So we got another copy of the pyramid. And um, shrink that down like so. And what I'm going to do here. Let's randomly change the color. Uh, let's go to hue and we'll change it to like um, emerald. Something like that. And we'll select it again. Oh no, no, no. Not gonna do that. When it's transparent, it don't it don't act the same. Okay. And we'll take the stick here. Stick. The heck. And we'll curve the stick. We'll turn the stick because I want to lay it in here. All right. And let's shrink that down. And let's move her into places. And now for dynamics, we'll create another one. And move it, you know, just fun little spherical things. And we'll move that. And I'm doing all this by eye, right? All right, that's cool. Uh, I like that. And what I would also like to do is this. Select all three. Merge them by hitting Control-E. 
drag and create another copy and then we'll drag another set like say over there and um, let's make another copy well let's let's make this a little transparent here and then let's make another copy and let's flip that by holding shift you can keep the perfect symmetrics shift it and bring let's say uh, over here I like that and then let's take the brush and just kind of do some random cuts so now we getting kind of like this sophisticated look here let's select that we're going to do the same thing um, hold control create a selection create another layer and delete this all together we're going to delete it we don't need it and we're going to take the, uh, the brush and we're just going to I'm going to do some uh, let's do some teals here dark or maybe right there um, and we uh, maybe let's kind of let's do a dark blue there put it up there and a light blue that's cool and uh, let's take that puppy and we'll drag her down here and uh, Let's move this down here. We're gonna do something else with that. Let's make a copy of that, and we'll uh, we'll put her. We're gonna put her here. We'll put her behind the body, and uh, let's see. Maybe can we blow it up? That's interesting. Okay. I like that. Maybe I could pull the opacity down a little. We're gonna put some sparkle to that in a second. And um, maybe we could take this and um, uh, maybe fade it. Mm -hmm. That's cool. And um, let's take this, collect, select that. And we got that selected. So let's make another layer and delete that. And let's put some other colors in that. So let's say we do that, do that, do that kind of strong, and let's get with some emerald colors here. Do that, and um, let's get some kind of some weird looking greens in there. And we'll put her at some random spots. Just some different different little things here. And and, um, and, and we want it we want it to look kind of digital, keep it like a digital type of thing. So I'm gonna do something here. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna select that. And this is just for the purposes of adding some other we're gonna do another layer here. I'll do I'll do that there just like that and uh, maybe that no, let me take that back I'm gonna change the color of that and we'll do uh, maybe like a maybe like a purple here okay that might be cool and uh, let me do something here I'm gonna do something else. We're gonna take a little line here. Actually, let me. No, I don't like that line. Retract. Make that line a little bit more cleaner. So we're making more symmetric to what's already happening here. That's good. And we'll do something like that. And now we'll take that and um, let's put some some little stripes on that. Make another layer and uh, maybe put a little something there. And let's take some orange since we're working with that sun. And we'll put something there. 
Let's get a little stronger. And let's take a little bit of dark green because we want to stay in that neighborhood. There. And darker tealish blue, maybe. Put her there. And this is, and, and this is just getting creative, you know? It just kind of just torn around with a lot of creative ideas. We're going to take this. We're going to actually maybe even keep this, keep that brown, but lower the transparency. Well, before we lower the transparency, we're going to do something. Nope. I'm just, you know, I'm just going to keep create something from scratch. But I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to delete that. We can come back and use that. So let's go ahead and add some more uh, fun, fun little stripes here. So we're going to, over here, since there's not that much orange in the neighborhood, I'm going to go ahead and do some fun little things. Dang, I sound like... I sound like Bob Ross, man. I always be sound like Bob Ross when I be doing these, man. Okay. Just a little touch of blue here. A little touch. A little touch right there. And we'll put some blue. And maybe some blue there. No, no, no. We're going, we're going to do another contrasting color. Purple. That's nice. Very nice. And um, let's take this now. Let's delete deselect that and uh, we'll move this here like so and she's going to have to move up okay so I should have mended them together I didn't sometimes you can't mend them together right though uh, so what I like to do is let me show you something real quick if I took this layer because this layer has effects and this layer has effects. If I just took and mended those control E and mended those together. Oh, that did pretty good. Sometimes it don't do that. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes you, you lose the rich effect though. Let's mend it. Yeah, it changes up the effect a little bit. Um, so what I like to do is I don't like to mend them together. I like to take this and then I merge this into a plain layer. Oh, I can't actually. Here, I'm going to create a layer and I'm going to select this layer of her and then I'm going to merge this and then I can take that and merge it to a clean layer. Oh, it looks like it did the same thing. But I want to be able to keep that edge on there. All right. Well, anyway, so anyway, we got that. Let's go ahead and continue to not erase. You don't want to erase her. You know, you want to keep her. She's the star of the show. You want to erase a few of these other things and get them out of the way. All right. So let me erase that. Now it's time to put some starlights and highlights. So with that, what we go, oh, another thing we're going to do, and that's the reason, it was the reason why I merged her together without effects, is because we have to do something with the legs down there now. So let's, let's take these legs off. We're going to bend, we're going, we're going to like blend, make them disappear almost very, very faintly. Like you, 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 you didn't even notice that they're gone. So it's like a, a really slow fade, almost kind of like she just blended right on into the background. All right, so now we're going to add a few other uh, small little digital elements, maybe some sparks. So maybe some sparks and lights and a few other little things. Uh, let me take this and we'll make another copy of this because this is a good graphical element here. We'll turn it like so blow it up blow it up stick it there pull it to the back pull it behind her and uh, and fade it fade it and then we're going here and fade it away a little be like what's that you don't really know what it is it's just there 
It just adds more, you know, more dynamics to what's going on. And something else I like to do is, or I would like to do, add another layer and go up here and get some some type of uh, dots here. Again, I don't have all my brushes, so this makes it a little little challenging. Um, those dots I don't have. I actually need some dots. I have to download these dots. Hold one second. Okay, y'all. I'm back, man. It took me about three days to do this, you know. Can you tell? Can you tell I've been gone for three days? And while I was at it, I actually picked up a few more brushes, as you can see. Now I got the triangle brushes. So let me go ahead and utilize this. At least I ain't. Uh, what I'm going to do is... Um, well, I'll tell you what. Before, let me see. Yeah, I think maybe we can use this. And what I'm going to do is just put a little purple little bomb there and shrink it down real little. And maybe even, uh, oops, you know what? I put that on the wrong spot. Sorry. It must be something in the liquor. All right, let's do it again. And then we're going to move on to the original plan. Let's see here. And maybe we could take that and move that around like so. And we'll bring that down just so it can be a little, little fade, little fade. And now let's go to our polka dots. Now, this was the original reason I had left. I need to add some polka dots. Now, we can add some very small ones. I think we're going to stick with a kind of like a bluish color here. And um, we'll put it on top. Polka dot layer. Yeah. See how that's working? And let's go to our mode here and let's turn this so that the polka dots can fade like so. And let's put a few there. And let's go here and let's turn it around. Let it face that way. And maybe just a few there. Yeah. Good looking. Okay. And um, we're going to add a few more elements here. Now, since I got a few more brushes, I think I can do some more things here. Now, uh, what I would like to do here is perhaps, maybe not. I picked up a few more elements. Uh, I wanted to do a few um, a few more digital things here. I don't know why they gave me that Illuminati eye. I ain't def I ain't using that ever. Uh, but we'll do this here, and um, we'll create another layer. We'll hit it, and we'll turn it down because I really don't want that clashing with the other ideas I already have. I want to keep this with a a digital look right so circles and things like that don't really fit the uh, the bar there uh, squares and lines and that's that's pretty much more less what I want to work with um, so we're gonna do perhaps maybe here I'm gonna do something we're gonna do this we're gonna select this and I'm going to put it there but watch how we're going to use it. We're going to use it like this. Now, you see that? But we're not going to use that. We're going to use this. I'm going to take that, create another layer, delete. And we're going to come up here and with our, with our brush, and we're, going to, we're going to paint inside that like we, we, like we did the rest. So we'll do something like that. We'll pick, uh, mm, let's say, uh, orange color. Oh, no browns there. Hit that something like that. You see that? See how that's working? And maybe even uh, let's say we do uh, something like that. Oops, that's too much. Too much. Let me back that up. Matter of fact, we're gonna make that a little darker. Something like that. And we'll shrink it. And we'll put it like there. And we'll deselect. And now we have something. You see that? We're working with something now. And then we're going to even take that and turn that down. 
all right so now we just have some nice wonderful elements in there that's actually going to get uh, covered up uh, later on as we continue to move forward all right fam so um it's been an hour and we're still rocking now we're going to put some little digital pelicates in there what's a digital pelican no clue but it's gonna it's gonna happen it's got to happen so how are we going to do this um what i'm gonna do oh uh, let's see what um yeah let's do this let's take this dot i'm gonna take that dot and this is going to be unique yeah let's Let's put a little light there. Let's blow it up. Little dot light. And we'll make another little dot light. And we'll select and shift it. One, two, three, four. And let's blend those two together. Control E. And let's make another one. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And let's blend those two together. And then let's make another one. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, did I even, did I blend that? Sorry. Oh, I got something up there. Okay. Okay. I actually like that. Whatever that end up being. All right. And now we're. We have something here. I'm just going to do that by eye. All right, let's blend those two together because we're going to be utilizing those across the board here. So we put some there, put some here. Just randomize it. But it's just more technology, you know, just technology. All right, let's make another copy of the dots. And we'll move another copy over here. We'll put it there so that they can be with that family. And let's scroll out, see what we got. All right, we got something decent, nice. All right, now we're going to put her name. And I don't have no fonts. Jeez. We're not going to use this big fat font because that is big and fat. We're going to use something a little bit more sensual here. Something like that, maybe. No, that's too curly. Got a lot of goofy fonts going on here. But we want to stick with something digital and unique. No. Although that can actually work if I put some glow to it. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, I kind of like that actually. I do like this, but what I don't like about it is how thick it is. What I do like about it is how organic and different it is. And it's really matching. I even like the contrast, but I had another plan for that. So let's see. Hmm. Let me see how a few other things look here. We're going to put a glow there. I might change that font later. Let's put a lens flare. Oh, by the way, I, yeah, I did download some lens flares. Um, I'd like to see how that looks. So let's take the caps lock off. Uh, let's shrink it down and uh, let's put a little spot like there. Uh, let's back that up. Let's put it here. 
and I kind of like that. So let's put a line. I'm gonna create a line, and we'll create a thin line between love and hate. And we're gonna make that uh, more. Actually, let's make it white. We could put a glow at to it. So we'll make it white. Another layer. Paint aside. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna paint aside solid, a solid color. As a matter of fact, we're not even gonna use the brush. We're just gonna use white. Okay, that wasn't supposed to do that. Anywho, uh, we can deselect. And what I like to do, actually, I did that wrong. Let me show you something. Well, you know what? We, we're just going to do it like this. That's what I wanted to do. There's two ways you can do that. You can just use a fan and paint a side, or you can you can just erase the edges. Okay, so now I created this this fake little lens flare. Uh, I'm going to call that lens line, lens line, and um, we're going to move this up here. And now we're going to use this flare, we'll call that uh, green flare. Y'all probably like white. When you be getting close to the white, you're not close to the mic already, bro. All right, uh, and let's see color dodge here. A screen or lighten. I think we we'll use screen right now. Okay, I kind of like this here. I want to put some more kind of some more gleam to it. Lens line. We should tighten that line up a little. And maybe even double it for double effect and push it down. Okay, now we got something. It's a little crispy here. It's a little crispy. Uh, look like her name can use a, a few more flares. So let's let's tour around with some more flares here. Uh, let's see what. Mm, See what this does here. Let's shrink this. Kind of like that. And um, I want to change the color of that to uh, let's see. No, don't like that. Now it's something that we need to do here. I like to use color dodge sometimes because color dodge does something. It 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 does this, this strange glow effect. Actually, let's try to put a glow on this lens flare period in fact let me undo that step back and we'll make that white and then let's put a let's put a glow effect and uh, let's go up in here to layer style and create make it a glow blow it up here now you notice when I put the glow effect and I and I turned it to color dodge, it 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 has a more realistic uh, glow. It's responding the way light really do respond when it when it's over other colors. So if I move this, you'll see how it kind of reacts differently under different lighting circumstances, right? See how it almost kind of blow up a little, like right there. So, and I, I like that about that. So we're going to keep that like that. Or maybe make it smaller but longer. And it, it really, it really, and then we're going to copy it and, and put it another place, so we can like really keep this party shine going here. Yeah, something like that. 
Okay. That looks good. Maybe we can do one more. Maybe we can actually put it on the line of the triangle there. Yeah, that's a good look right there, right? And see how it's, re it's responding to the light, so it, it really, really gives it some type of like realistic glow. And we're we fade out the edge there. All right, so we got something here. We got a little something going on. So we're gonna add a few more uh, textures uh, around here. Actually, we need to put some glows up there too. We'll put some glows up here. Yep, just like that. And we're gonna put some. And I like the way the glow is like kind of going across our skin there. We can even stretch it. That's nice. Let's um let's build that up a little. Okay, that's I think that might might actually be working. Okay. All right, let's uh, really add some some other dynamics to this. By uh, we got this this sun glow here. Uh, we can go up here and put a a lens flare actually above her, going across her face. And I think I've seen a lens flare that type when I downloaded it. So let's take a look. And yes, yeah, see, so we got the cross. Oh, here we got this here too. We got that right there. Let's see how this one look. Okay, I like that, but I don't like it, but I do. So let's uh, step back and let's shrink it. Actually, I liked it the other one better, but uh, let's see if it's uh, a few things that we can do with this. I think the only way this one could work, uh, I don't know. Let's see if I adjust the levels here. No, uh, I tell you what. Let's see that other one. Actually, I kind of liked it, that one. I liked it. It, it is original size too. Uh, we got this one here. Maybe no. It's too deep and then we have um, this one mm. that one I like but guess what we have to swap it so how do we swap it again like that now, I like that that's realistic but that's too much but that was the actual idea. So maybe we can go to the original here. Let's see. Maybe we can go to the original. Take it away. And see if. Let's see something here. That's actually how I wanted it. So. Uh, let me hit that. We're gonna change the color to orange too. A little bit, little gold. Okay, that didn't definitely didn't. Oh wait, 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 wait.
Okay, I got a better idea. Here. Let's create another layer. Let's take that, make it white. And let's take it, put it in linear dodge. And let's put a glow on it. Ooh, I hope they ain't tripping on me. All right, put another glow. And we'll make that uh, kind of reddish. And uh, we'll change that to linear dodge. I like that. I like that. That works. That's much, much better. Now, let me save this. And I wonder if I saved it at all today. No. <laughs> okay. So that's, that's Taj. Okay. And I think uh, we have the entire uh, graphics worked out. I believe we got the graphics worked out. Now we can um, move on to, you know, fonts and things like that. So we can say something like, um, uh, Flex, because her dad name is Flex and his company is named Flexer Skills. So we we'll keep it very cordial, very simple. And we'll go back to the basics here. Let me shrink this down. Uh, so we got the flexor skills, and that actually can probably be smaller. Typically, for visual pleasing uh, balance, uh, you typically have that smaller. And um, keeping with the fonts, we're not going to. We're going to keep the same family, if possible. And they all should be capitals, so. I don't think it's flex your, it's flex, flex yes skills, flex your skills. That's good. That's okay. I think it actually can be better, but we're not really arguing about the, well, let's see here. Uh, we're looking at contrast here. Okay, that may be a little better. I actually think the white might be a little bit more classier in tune with the rest of the flyer. And I'm not sure if he used two X's, so I'm going to keep just one. Taj. And the name of her album or single is called Grind Time. That's where she got her video on. So we're going to produce that, Grind Time. And we're going to use a little contrasting text with that. So her name is Taj, and we want that to stand out. But we want grind time to be a little different so this is where it can it can get tricky because you want to use a different font so that it can stand out but uh, it still have to kind of be in sync with what's going on there so maybe we can use uh, maybe this no maybe this I think we can use this. I actually would prefer it to be tighter. Grind time. No. See, uh, the name have to be different from the any other type of titles or fonts for it to have a visual. Um, okay, that might work. 
I think that actually might 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 work. Might do some justice there. Yep, I think so. And now we can add another white line to give it some separation. So let's add another layer, paint that white, and um, we can um, we can add any other additional information down at the bottom there. And we make sure that we keep the weight and balance proper. So when we working with something like that, and when you're putting the line, you always kind of want to put the line uh, 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 not you know less width, and it, it it still depends. But you know maybe half half the letter at the the at last letter and half the letter the first letter. Try to keep it centered in the middle. Um, as far as the weight, it can be the same weight as the the fonts. Or it can be, you know, maybe a little smaller, maybe just a, just a little smaller, but you don't want that line to be disproportioned. So we got that grind time, and uh, right now I'll just say uh, music video coming soon, even though it's already out. Or, as a matter of fact, here I got something better. Um, no, even better. <laughs> Listening party. Or you can say video viewing. Sorry, I thought we were still on the same uh, text there. Now, that's what we can do. And then I'll take that and I'll shrink this down because this should be significantly smaller. And um, maybe, maybe the font's different, but we'll see how it look smaller. Uh, you're looking at balance. You know, the whole thing is balance uh, when, you, um, when you're doing these type of things. Okay. So I think that that's kind of, that's look like this okay. Uh, we're going to put a date up there, just a fictitious date. Uh, let's say uh, December twenty fifth, and um, of course that's going to be black for contrast. So something like that. Now why they did that, I don't know, but let's fix that. Okay. And um we'll make sure that that's contrast, contrasty. I think that might might be okay uh, like maybe it can have a little more weight let's see if we make that bigger how that fares yeah that look like that might actually be okay there we go that's better Okay, and uh, you know we can have a few more elements um, going on down there. You know, um, uh, let's see over here to cover some of that up. Uh, normally, matter of fact, I tell you what, um, and, um, I'll just have a fake location at Clubland.
at Clubland and um, let's say one, two, three, Woodward Avenue. Something like that. I think that's okay. And uh, maybe a few more little, small little elements here. Uh, what type of other elements could we have? Um, we can do this. Even though I didn't want that in there. I have that in there like that. We'll pull that behind some elements. Definitely behind her name. Yep, we'll put that in there. And uh, let's put another, let's put another element in there. This I'm uh, gonna stand out. Uh, it could be this here. And this will make, uh, Round. And we'll jump that up. And um, if you ever look at your mouse and you notice that you don't see your um, your brush, check and see if your caps lock is on. If it is, just hit it, and that will reveal your brush for you. All right. Um, we're gonna shrink this down, so I'm gonna hit the brackets, and we can put that there. And that's kind of too bright, too contrasty, so we're gonna pull that down a little. Maybe put another one over here. And got, now we got a little something going on here. Got a little something. Got a very decent looking flyer. Actually, I will probably change the font here. That that should be different. It shouldn't be. Everything shouldn't be the same. It should have some, some different. Um, got to remove that. I don't like that. And maybe this can be a simple. Um, Something very simple, yeah. That that's that's simple, bold, shrink it down. Maybe even bolder. Actually I would I would like for that to be taller. That should be taller. for visual purposes. Yeah, now that's much better, much better. Uh, maybe not so big, but definitely better font, blends better. And let's tighten it uh, in a little. Um, let's bring the matrix in here. I ain't, I ain't, that ain't that that's what I was trying to do. Now that works. That works. And you also, of course, you want to be title safe. So you don't want to have it too low because you gotta remember that um the printer is going to cut off some inches around here. So we bring all of this in safe zone. And that's it for now, fam. Just a little something fun, you know, put together. You know, this was really for no purpose at all. Just kind of brushing up on the skills a little bit and um, showing you how we can get creative and put, you know, a few different ideas together by using a few different elements. So that's one of many, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And stay tuned as we continue to produce some other breathtaking tutorials. Till the next time. I'll see you in a minute. See you when I spin it. Thank you for watching. Peace.